What's up y'all? In today's video, we're talking about a neighborhood that I've covered once before, but I covered it with a couple other neighborhoods and it is such an awesome spot that it deserves its own video. Today we're talking South Park Hill, just the south of Park Hill. This place is awesome. Let's check it out. How's it going friends and welcome to Denver. My name is Jesse Lynch and I run the hardest working real estate team in the game called Welcome to Denver. <laughs> and this YouTube channel, it's all about helping you find a place to call home here in Denver. And that's what we do, that's what we do better than anybody else. It's like truly what we've niched down to. We realize, oh, we're good at this. These videos are very fun to make. They're helpful for people and we're pretty good at it. We're pretty good at the whole thing. Anyway, if any of that appeals to you, do me a favor, do yourself a favor, subscribe to this channel. I think only something like a third of the people who watch our videos actually subscribe to the channel. So if we could get that somewhere closer to say 50%, I would be <laughs> ecstatic. So yeah, again, it's not just helpful to me and the real estate team and the channel, it's helpful to other people like yourself who are looking for this kind of info, looking for this kind of video. I, I, there's not many people, there's, <laughs> there's not many videos out there that are as immersive is what we're doing and that's really the goal. I want you to feel like you're experiencing the neighborhood actually. Well, I have you here if you wouldn't mind giving the video a thumbs up, saying something in the comments, I'd appreciate that. It could just be all emojis, I don't really care. It's helpful, <laughs> I would appreciate it. And then lastly, if you wanna work with us, we would love, love to help you. This is what we do, this is what we do every day. It's a complicated thing, it's a stressful endeavor for you, but it's literally everyday life for us. So reach out, we'll crush it for you, we'll get the show on the road and, and you'll be here in no time, in the house that you wanna be in, in the neighborhood that you wanna be in. And, all right, Today we're talking about, speaking of neighborhoods, we're talking about a very cool neighborhood today. This is South Park Hill, not South Park Hill, South Park Hill. It's beautiful and it's truly in the top, you know, top upper echelon of neighborhoods as far as I'm concerned. It makes our luxury video, you know, makes that list and it makes the best neighborhoods as well. So let's get going. y'all right now i'm on forest street parkway this is a, just a really nice green space between the two lanes of traffic and because it's a parkway the houses here are beautiful i love a parkway in sort of the you know it's like a chance for a city to feature beautiful homes and as, as a fan of beautiful homes i like a parkway South Park Hill is a, an absolutely stunning neighborhood and so much of the appeal of the neighborhood is because of the fact that it is immediately adjacent to City Park. City Park, a beautiful park. One of the uh, best parks, one of the most beautiful, one of the most uh, perhaps used, loved, beloved parks in Denver. And it is just on the western border of South Park Hill. And again, there's two other park hills, but this is the one that's the most luxury, the most high end, and the other two are still acceptable, but it just feels like it deserves its own spot in the uh, search criteria, in the algorithm, or whatever you wanna say. We're probably about 10, 15 minutes to downtown Denver, to the sort of just due east of downtown Denver. We're about 25 to 30 minutes to the airport, and the population is somewhere between nine and 10,000 people. It's a largely residential. There's not a whole lot of commercial happening here. Eh, maybe on the edges, but mostly once you get into the neighborhood, it's just beautiful neighborhood, beautiful houses in a sort of classically trick-or-treatable kind of way, uh, except that maybe some of the lots like 
this house, that's a pretty big lot from house to house, this house as well. But again, we're on the parkway, so once you get a little tucked back in, that, I don't know, the distance, it, they tend to get a little bit closer together, a little bit more in a classical city lot sense. Again, just to the west is the city park. It's pretty much the entire western border, just about, is that park space, and then maybe a little bit of the city park neighborhood. To the north is North Park Hill, to the east is East Colfax, and to the south is Montclair. Naturally, like a lot of the videos that we've been doing lately, it's served by the Denver Public School System because it is in Denver proper. Uh, and that school system as a whole gets a B according to Niche, but it's very dependent on where you are within the cities, what that's gonna feel like. And actually the schools here are quite good. You have access to East High School uh, by default, that gets an A. You have access to McAuliffe International School, it's a middle school, that also gets an A. And then the two elementary schools that serve here get a, a B respectively. And then a couple like special honorable mentions is that you have Denver School for the Arts, that's a, a high school for arts, and that's ranked the number one high school for the arts in Denver. Uh, that's pretty close to the area. And then you also have DSST, which is like Denver Science STEM, I forget, I forget what the actual, I used to know this, something, DSST, it's a STEM school, very highly regarded STEM school. Again, you're gonna have access to that stuff and a bunch of other charter and magnet schools throughout Denver, so keep that in mind. But the schools that are designated to the area are good by default. Housing here, it's mostly owner uh, operated. That's not really a thing, that's a truck driving <laughs> reference, but it's mostly owners who live here, 85%, 15% are renters. And you're gonna see a pretty high median, but not as crazy as some of the other luxury neighborhoods that we've been talking about lately. It's just over a million for the median sale price here. And naturally, like a lot of these areas, it's a pretty big range of uh, cost of houses. Cheapest single family house on the market right now, 575, and most expensive is 2.75. Probably safe to assume that 575 is a big time fixer upper or probably due for a scrape or something like that. But all right, let's keep walking. Uh, we're talking through pros and cons here in a sec. Okay, right now I'm crossing Montview Boulevard. It's a pretty main uh, thoroughfare through the South Park Hill neighborhood, um, but it's beautiful. There's a Masonic Lodge back there. There's a decent bit of uh, commercial space, but it's, it's largely like beautiful church architecture and the like right around here, as well as I think a, a private school. So yeah, it's a cool spot, very cool spot. And I wanna talk a little bit about the pros and cons of living in South Park Hill as I see them. Um, so first of all, access to very good schools. Uh, pretty much all the schools, maybe the elementary schools are the least you know, exceptional, but still quite good. But having access to those schools, definitely a good thing and definitely helps the uh, future of the property values. Pro number two, and this is a huge one, I think this is a major, major factor in the cost and the prices of houses here, is access to the park, city park, which yeah, is so big, you probably just could call it the park. Pro number three, beautiful homes. Like truly so many different beautiful homes and different styles uh, across a decent uh, price range, right? You have more affordable, you know, I don't wanna say super affordable, probably right around the Denver median, you could buy a, a nice house, right? Like a livable house. And then you could definitely spend more than that to get a aspirational, epic, uh, you know, super, super beautiful luxury style home here in South Park Hill. Uh, it's funny, every time I say South Park Hill, I want to just say South Park. 
that's not it at all. I also think one thing that is gonna be a pro to a lot of people is that the houses here largely, and I think it's helping the median stay not super crazy, is that largely the houses here are older. They are the historic style home, and there's not as much scraping happening here as the likes of uh, Cherry Creek, uh, Washington Park, things like that. Certainly Sloan's Lake, some of that stuff in the Northwest, a lot of scraping going on there. Not as much here because I think there's enough kind of history of maybe affluence, but maybe, I don't know, a focus on architecture, a focus on, you know, impressive houses being built here. So they're less likely to get scraped than the more modest houses that you'll see in a lot of other areas. Another pro for me is that it feels very, very peaceful back here. Once you're into the neighborhood, once you're off the main road, like Colorado Boulevard, it's so chill. <laughs> it's just so peaceful here uh, and really, really idyllic. Sort of park-like streets, you know, tree-lined streets and people who maintain their yards immaculately. It's just a really pleasant place to be hanging out. With that said, I think there are definitely some cons to be found here. Number one, the median price is higher than the median of Denver. So I would say that qualifies as expensive to the average person. Next, I think Colorado Boulevard specifically, but kind of all of the streets surrounding the neighborhood can be pretty, pretty busy. So if you had any real estate on those or super close to those, it might feel a little chaotic right on those streets. Colorado Boulevard separates the South Park Hill neighborhood from City Park, and so it's traveled a lot, right? That's a destination, and so people are on it a lot. It's not at all uncommon to find a fair bit of traffic on Colorado Boulevard right around here. Which actually brings me to my next con, which is that the park, the number one park that you'd be going to, uh, is a little bit touristy, right? It's an attraction. It's uh, people from, you know, visiting Denver are gonna go there because it is huge and there are some, you know, more touristy attractions there in as well. Then I think there are some pretty classic cons associated with the city. I talk about this a lot. Cars parked on the street, narrower streets, other than the parkways, those are very cool. And then of course you have things like detached garages and you know, things like that. But that's just a question you gotta ask yourself. Do I wanna live in the city? Do I want the things that are associated with that older infrastructure or not? Another interesting con that is fairly unique to City Park is that as far as the city goes, it's about as far away from highway access as it gets. It's just tucked kind of right in the middle where you don't have slick access to any main artery uh, to get throughout the Denver Metro. And then lastly, there's basically a, a lack of conveniences within the South Park Hill neighborhood. It's, again, it's beautiful, it's residential, it's cozy and quaint for those reasons. And that's part of why it feels so chill here, is because there's not really much to do in, <laughs> in here, but I guess that's just a question again that you gotta ask yourself. It's a, I think it's a fair trade-off. Do I want to be in the city with access to things, you know, decent walk, decent bike ride, but not really within my neighborhood? All right, let's keep going. All right, John, if you've been watching these videos, you know that we have a little section we like to call for fans of, which is to say, if you like what you see here, here are some other places that you might wanna check out because they have similar, you know, vibes, similar overall feels to them. And I honestly think this is a really important part because when we're helping people, this is so much of the conversation. If they're like, yeah, you know, we visited, <laughs> like for a weekend, we checked out a couple spots and we like this spot and this spot. It's like, well, cool. Is that the only spots you're considering or do you just want places that are like that? Most of the time, people want places that are like that. And that's kind of where we come in. That's where our expertise and our ability to you know, say, okay, you like this feel, this vibe, without doing any sort of illegal steering, here are some other places that maybe feel similar to that. 
Before I dive into what places feel like this, I would just like to say that we would love to help you if you're making a move here. This is what we do. This is what we do better than anybody else. So if you're interested, you can go to our website, welcome to denver.co. We have a contact form there that you can fill out in like 30 seconds or less, or you can choose an email directly to info at welcome to denver.co. They lead to the same spot. So totally up to you how you do it. We just ask that you do, and then we'll get everything going for you. And you'll be here in no time in the right house, in the right neighborhood for you. Interestingly enough with South Park Hill, I think the, uh, for fans of are actually kind of scattered throughout Denver. Um, whereas sometimes it's everything is just right nearby. The ones that feel similar are just the surrounding neighborhoods. But I think there are some uh, ones that are a little further out that feel pretty similar to here and have a lot in common with that. So number one, I'm going to say University Park. University Park, beautiful, more expensive than here, um, but just a very uh, luxurious but older feeling neighborhood a lot of classic architecture and it is really quite beautiful i'm losing daylight real quick sorry about that next i'm actually going to say uh congress park congress park didn't make the uh, cut for our luxury video but it, it definitely is a super nice video i think these people are scooting in here uh super nice video or a super nice neighborhood sorry uh i got nervous uh and then uh so congress park Super, super beautiful and pretty nearby. And then a couple of the others that come to mind are kind of on the northwest side of Denver, like for example, Berkeley. Berkeley is, reminds me of it because it's so residential, so chill, um, but has some cool little commercial districts, little corners really, but they're really neat and feel really cool which is kind of what's going on here. There's not much, but there's, the ones that do exist are very, very cool. Like Spinelli's is like just such a beautiful storefront and there's a lot of that going on here. Um, and then to the east or to the south of Berkeley is West Highland. West Highland has some similar vibes where it's just a kind of a cozy residential spot. And then even the Western part of the Highlands, like the Potter Historical District, that has some similarities as well. Just kind of a timeless feel uh, so yeah, I mean, it's proper nighttime. <laughs> so maybe I'm just gonna wrap it up here. Reach out to us if you wanna know more for fans of. Thank you for watching. These videos take a long time to shoot. So I appreciate you bearing with this less than ideal light, what is probably very grainy footage, but all right. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>